Steven Universe and all associated images are property of Cartoon Network, Rebecca Sugar, and any and all other respective owners. I don't know them all. All footage in this video has been used for the purpose of critique parody under fair use. Please support the official release. I spend a lot of time looking at this mural. For those of you who don't remember, or who have been living under a rock for the entirety of the existence of the Steven Universe fandom, this is the mural seen on the ceiling of the Pyramid Temple in Episode 8, Serious Steven. And I'll tell you this right off the bat, theorists have gotten a lot of mileage out of this thing. For a while, theorists thought that the figures in this mural were Rose Quartz, White Diamond, Blue Diamond, and Yellow Diamond. And a lot of people still think that. I no longer do. I think that White Diamond's here, but I think the others are something of an unknown. However, because this is such a looked at image, since members of the Steven Universe fandom are constantly trying to find out more about this mural and what it might mean, a lot of Steven Universe theorists, myself included, noticed something very interesting. With the airing of Gem Drill, a lot of us noticed that this image of the drill hanging above the cluster struggling not to form resembles this image of the presumed white diamond descending to Earth in a triangular ship. This has caused a lot of people to reevaluate what gem this is pictured here. Is it possible that the triangular hair and the additional spikes are not meant to suggest the spiked hair of White Diamond, and instead the triangular hair is meant to suggest that this is Peridot? Is it possible that the triangular shaped ship is meant to be the drill, and that these arms reaching up towards the figure are meant to be the arms of the unformed cluster? Best guess, the Pyramid Temple was put up somewhere between 5,000 and 4,500 years ago. How could someone possibly know that the events of Gem Drill would occur? Is it possible that this mural we've been looking at as a piece of history, as a recording of history, is in fact a recording of prophecy? Well, yeah, it is entirely possible that gems could see the future like this. Garnet sees the future. Yes, she sees multiple possible futures at a time, and has to use statistics to work out which future is the most likely to happen. But remember, back in the answer, before Sapphire realized that choices could change her visions, she just assumed that the first future that she saw each time she looked, the most likely future, was the one that was going to happen. What if something similar happened here? What if some future vision equipped gem on the homeworld side looked far into the future, saw these events happen, and without realizing what they were, what exactly they meant, in some way influenced this mural to be made? Technically speaking, it is possible. However, I find it highly unlikely. And I'm going to discuss why. First of all, if we go from left to right here, which is presumably the direction that our eyes are supposed to go, considering that this show is storyboarded by people who read, write, and speak English, we can see that the next panel here shows Rose Quartz fighting someone. I've theorized this gem to be Lapis Lazuli, but we now know Lapis Lazuli's backstory and that she didn't ever have a fight with Rose. Of course, if these panels are images of a prophecy and not of recorded history, then that stops being a problem. Maybe Lapis's fight with Rose hasn't happened yet. The issue with that is, Rose doesn't exist anymore, except as part of her son, Steven Universe. So unless some image of Rose is going to appear and fight Lapis, or someone is going to take Rose's form and fight Lapis, this panel cannot possibly be a thing that still has not happened yet. It has to be something that took place in the past, and the other gem involved simply isn't Lapis Lazuli. Of course, it could still be Lapis, and it could still be a depiction of the future. As previously mentioned, gems do have the ability to project holograms of other gems and to take on the form of other gems. However, the number of contrivances that would have to come together for this panel to be something that takes place in the future rather than the past is just too high for me to say for sure that it's true. That said, this fourth figure here, off to the right, has long since been theorized to be Yellow Diamond. And yeah, it does bear some superficial similarities to Yellow Diamond, and yeah, the background to its panel does appear to be vaguely yellowish compared to the rest of the mural. Is it possible that it's yellow diamond? Sure. If that's the case, then this very definitely could be an image of something that takes place in the future of the show. Yellow diamond is coming. She is going to come to Earth eventually, and this could be a depiction of that. I guess what this boils down to is, I don't think these images are prophecy. I still think they're depictions of historical events. But I also can't dismiss the possibility that they are depictions of events yet to happen in the series. So I'm going to keep an eye out for any suggestion that the events in these two panels might still be yet to come. And I invite all of you guys to do the same. 
because whether or not this idea does turn out to be true, it is still a very interesting idea that I think would be a lot of fun to pursue further. But what do you guys think? Have I foreseen the truth of this one, or am I not reading far enough into this? Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below. Either way, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later. Do you have a theory idea or merely a musing about the show that you'd like me to discuss? You can head on over to my Facebook page and send me a message detailing your ideas, and if I find them interesting enough, I'll be sure to respond. Or you can head on over to my Tumblr page and send me an ask. If it's not something that I've covered before, I'll be sure to answer. If you are on Facebook or Tumblr, I also recommend that you like and or follow me there as well to keep up to date on all of my content as well as any supplementary content that I might post on either of those sites. And if you know anyone on Facebook or Tumblr who might find my content interesting, please share it with them. I'd really appreciate it.